I mean, I am done with all his yelling. Telling us what to do. I mean, who made him king? I was just looking forward to getting some rest. I don't know. Alex could work on his delivery, sure, but a lot of what he has to say seems smart. Oh, come on, Emily. Are you serious? You really think he's the best one to lead us? There's gotta be someone better, don't you think? Look, all I know is that bickering over bragging rights won't lead anywhere good. Look, you'll have to take a side sooner or later, Emily. Your beloved Alex is bringing trouble to our doorstep. Fine, just forget it. But honestly, the old folks are a liability. Dead weight. You know they'll just get captured sooner or later, right? Only question is whether or not they'll drag us down with them. What is wrong with you? Don't you care about the others even just a little? What about Olga and Vera? Or is your ego just that big? Well, tell me I'm wrong. It's a miracle we haven't gotten into more serious trouble yet. Forget Alex for a second. What happens if the cops discover our hideout? There's no way Alex and Brian can outrun them. Park's got his asthma, and Claire's no track star either. I've been over and over it in my head, and I'm sure you have too. What are you saying? That we should just run off? Leave them all behind? Only the strong survive, is that it, Matt? Oh, come on. That's not what I meant. I just, look, I'm sure deep down you get it. If this is an attempt to show off your dazzling wit, it's not working. Let's just drop it, okay? Listen, I'm not afraid to say what everyone else is already thinking. Being sick and old are liabilities. Don't pretend you don't know that. Drop. It. Finally made it. Shh. This way, quick. Wonderful. How are we getting past these two? Maybe just go around? Yeah, great idea, Em. If we want their friends to call for backup. If it's just a patrol, they'll move on soon. Hard to imagine what the cops are doing here. Let's wait for a bit. Thanks. Sounds good. While we do, there's something I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before the incident? Can't see you behind a desk. Well, let's just say I was in transportation and logistics. A lot of folks were willing to pay top dollar to get exactly what they wanted. Uh, what about you? Where did you work? I was a spatial designer, creating virtual apartments, stuff like that. Did some very cool VR gaming gigs, too. <laughs> really? Sounds like a total waste of time, to be honest. What? No, I like... I mean, I liked it. How'd you end up here? With Brian and the rest, I mean... <laughs> even a blind man could find their hideout. If you could even call it that. Seriously? That's it? <laughs> yeah. I was just walking down the street and saw some light coming from a basement window. Didn't seem like robots, so I investigated. Turns out, I was right. There used to be more of us. Anyone tell you about Mike? No, of course not. Cause Alex would flip. He was stubborn but a good guy. Sound familiar? Anyway, one day he went out for supplies and he never returned. Really? And no one knows what happened to him? Maybe I will ask Alex about it. What about your family? Were they taken too? I never met my parents. I don't know much about them. Just that they were loaded. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to what? You know, upset you. Hey, no sweat. I'm used to it. Well, it doesn't look like they're leaving anytime soon. Can we just sneak past them? Ugh, I'm sick of waiting. Okay, I have an idea. A little risky, I suppose, but I think it'll work. Trust me, see that cop car? I'm gonna make my way inside. You just need to attract the cops' attention from the other direction. You're not serious. What am I supposed to do? Dance the salsa? Keep it down. No, you're not gonna put on a show. Just maybe make some noise or throw something at them. Then I'll do a little, um, hit and run with their own arrow car. Wait, what? Are you nuts? If you're trying to impress me, this is definitely not the time. It'll work, I promise. They won't even see it coming. 
The guys and I have done this a hundred times before. Now let's go. Keep quiet and don't let those repair bots spot you. And he's gone. Okay, you've got this. Just stay out of sight and find a way to make some noise. Okay, that was... impressive. You weren't kidding about having done this before. What'd you say you did before? Maybe I'll tell you another day. If we make it that long. We've still got business to take care of. I doubt they had a chance to call reinforcements. But I'm not sticking around to find out. I'm Amber. 
Welcome to GeekSpot. You're our first customers of the day. Uh, stupid hologram. I nearly shit myself. Today is a great day to shop, with tons of special offers. Feel free to look around, and let me know if you have any questions. It's just a hologram, so it won't call the cops. Right? Would you like me to connect you with the police department? No! Okay. Give me a call if you need any help. And don't forget, we have mega discounts on 3D printers this weekend. It's totally oblivious to the chaos outside. Anyway, what are we looking for again? If you need help, well, since you're offering, Amber, where can we find a TSLS accumulator, gun emitter, and Jameson control unit? Please visit the following departments. Red, green, and purple. That's helpful, thanks. Kind words are all the gratuity I need. Let me know if you need something else. Let's check it out. But can we not call that thing anymore? Creeps me out. The purple department is closed for inventory review. Please try back later. board games. Someone's out of meeples. Wait. Jameson control unit, model... Yes, this is the exact one. It's a coupon. Probably for getting a discount at checkout. A coupon! are so cute. Empty. Nothing here. Not a thing. Not a thing. I was worried there'd be nothing left. An accumulator. But how to get it out of there? You've selected the TSL-S accumulator. Good choice. Unfortunately, the last remaining unit is for the prize machine display only, and not for sale. But you're in luck. It's available for free through a limited time offer. All you need is three special coupons. Oh, so that's what they're for. I need three of them. Better start looking. Will this work? Great! All we need is one last coupon. So much. I have three coupons. Now to get that accumulator.
congratulations! To claim your prize, just choose any item. You won't need to pay for it. Wait, what? All this effort just for a stupid prize? Hmm. This thing hasn't seen a maintenance worker in over a year. Not surprising. I guess we have to hack it. Hack it? Is that another of your many talents? Did you used to be a spy or something? Anything's possible, babe. I'll open the case. You watch the screen. Let's try to reset it to factory defaults. We can finally get out of here. Do you know what it's like, outside? Everything is awesome. Not from where I'm standing. You can examine all of our products by visiting the exhibition stands. Who exactly am I talking to? I'm a holographic assistant, and I'm at your service. Would you like to see the latest assortment of AI vacuum cleaners? I'll let you know if I need you. Sure thing. I'm always ready to help. Prize, but what about the other stuff? Six nine point nine oh one twenty two point nine oh. Well, there's nothing to pay with, and we can't just take it and walk on out of here. Don't look at me. Who could predict we need money again? Who'd have thought we'd need money again? Saw a wallet in the drugstore this morning, and I didn't even give it a second glance. Oh dear, it seems as though you forgot to pay for your items. Please stay where you are. Security will escort you to the cashier. Phew, that was close. How are we supposed to get past that? This is crazy. The incident, the robots, hell, aliens could invade, and for the cashiers it'd be business as usual. Damn, didn't think this through. How do we even pay? You got a couple of hundred bucks on you? A credit card? It's been ages since I've even seen money. I forgot my purse. Let's go head to security. Find some way to turn off the alarm system. Okay, we got everything? I think that covers Brian's list. 
We can't take out cash without a debit card, and banks aren't open again until, well, ever. It's dark in here. Fortunately, I've got a flashlight. I think I can turn off the alarm systems from here, but I'll need the access codes first, and only the guards have those. I'm sure this won't end well. They've installed electronic devices everywhere. Microtrips get scanned on entry and exit, calculating work hours. Everything's arranged to reel in customers and dazzle them with new products. No one's supposed to leave without buying something. And of course, the camera silently records it all. They say it's a safety precaution, but that's bullshit. They record your every move so they can use it against you, publicly if they have to. I say to hell with that. Under the constant gaze of dangerous digital babysitters and fear of being replaced by a talking mannequin if you don't hit the sales quota? Well, but still. Better than living on welfare. Won't be long before they've replaced us all and it's too late to cry about it. Don't say Josiah Sanders didn't warn you. A docking station for charging and upgrading robots. No wonder it got left behind. It's beyond repair. Destroy all humans. Emily, help! Ugh, too close. Look, there's a pass card under the printer. It's an office terminal. Design's not bad, but it looks a little cheap. Locked. If only this were a video game, the password would be written right on it. Locked. If only this were a video game, the password would be written right on it. No way. They're still alive? The tank must have an enclosed ecosystem. I envy you, little fishies. It's rough out here. I know, right? Oh man, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> nice. Maddie, my boy, you're in luck. Hey, I found it first, you know. Told you. Life is unfair. Tell me about it. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Easy there. All right. You see that VR zone over there? That's where we'll settle it. How about the first to win five rounds gets the drink? Are you forgetting something? We didn't come here to play games. Cops could bust right through the door and we wouldn't even hear them with those headsets on. Oh no, Em. Now you're starting to sound like Alex. No risk, no reward. When was the last time you had any fun? Five minutes won't kill you. And I'm dying to try the new VR rigs they've got over there.
We have a winner! Hand over that can. Ah, what's fair is fair. Goodbye, my little aluminum friend. We've just met, but now we must go our separate ways. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. There. Now we're good. You... you... Don't get bent out of shape. Here, have a sip. Second place. Haha. -ha. My secret plan worked perfectly, baby. Your secret plan was barely even a plan, baby. If you say so, but I'm the one with the soda. Let's go. Got the staff room. I wonder if anything useful Daddy, is left inside. Can you get a load of the new guy from the red department? Bundle of nerves, always drop up and stuff. I I'd like to help him out, you know, give him some advice. Surplus inventory after closing, but when I asked his name, his face went all scarlet. And <laughs> I can't even begin to describe the look he gave me. <laughs> Took the whole red department thing too literally, if you ask me. A really old lock. I've never seen one like it. Except maybe in a museum. Not a lot of finesse, but at least I got it open. Now let's see what's inside. It's a corporate ID tag. Employees use these to buy goods using their corporate discount. I should give it a shot. No one else is using it.
Thank you for your purchase, Donovan. Your 10% employee discount has been applied. Don't forget to close your personal account this week. I hope you can forgive me, Donovan. All right, let's bail. Another damn shuttle. And another group of folks that got caught, I'm guessing. Fewer and fewer people left. Where the hell have you been? I would have gone myself if I had more than one leg. Anyway, did you find all the parts? Here you go. Everything from the list. Hope we didn't miss anything. Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. My brain's done for the day. What are you doing? The internal components are delicate. You break one, you're marching right back out to get another. Okay, okay. Lucky we found all the parts. I'll get started immediately. Alex, can I get a little help, please? Tch, <laughs> see if I have a choice. We need to secure our water supply. Park helped me clear the debris blocking the door, but the boiler's still an issue. Relax, it's not urgent. We still got plenty of bottled water. Let's make the slacker do it when he finally wakes up. Can I give it a shot? And you can give me some hints if I need them. So, you're a plumber all of a sudden, huh, girl? I doubt it. Brian and I'll take a look once we're done here, but, uh, sure. <laughs> Give it a shot if you got nothing better to do. Emily, do you want to have a look at the boiler? Because when the guys removed the lumber, I was the first in line. This is horrible going so long without hot water. Unfortunately, it's not working. I have no idea how to fix it, and the men aren't doing a darn thing about it. It seems like it'd be easy for them. I know, right? But they always find something more important to do. Not showering might not bother them, but we really could use some fresh water from the well. Then we won't have to keep looking for bottled water all the time. There are no nanites here. Alex checked the samples. But I can't fix them on my own. Park would help, but he's out on a sortie. I'm no expert, but I'm willing to try. Although, the last time I tried my hand at plumbing, I flooded the neighbors below. I'll see what I can do. I could really use a little luxury myself. Duct tape. It'll patch the pipes, but I'm not sure for how long. It's not a proper home without duct tape. This thing's never gonna work, but I could get lucky. figures. The pipes are riddled with holes, which is why the boiler keeps shutting down. They're working hard on the taser. I hope we don't have to use it. Alex and Brian are busy assembling the taser. Really busy. Better not distract them unless it's important. An old electronic microscope. Brian likes to keep it handy. Once we realized that nanites in the water supply were what caused people to lose consciousness, we started checking the levels regularly. Found you, you little pests. Before, nanites were used for medicinal purposes. Now, it's practically as bad as poison.
Claire said Matt joined the group not long before we did. On the day of the incident, he lost consciousness at home like so many others, but the robots didn't find him. I guess he was just lucky. Olga, you okay? We wanted to warm up. The weather's been terrible lately. Anything I can do for you two? I was going to ask the boys, but maybe you can take a look? Where is Cribsman squeaking? Maybe the joints need oiling. Okay, I'll check it out. I should get going. Sure. There must be something I can do to keep it from creaking so loudly. shouldn't squeak anymore. At least we'll all sleep better now. Hey, I know we haven't exactly talked much, but I wanted to ask you... How did I end up in this mess? Seems like you and Matthew are in cahoots. Sorry, if you don't want to talk about it, I get it. Rick. That's her father's name. We met after... Everything happened. Ended up in the same group. He was special, you know? And yeah, we got caught up in the moment. A few days later, Rick and the boys got caught. That's how I ended up alone and pregnant. Before the incident, I was a school teacher, surrounded by kids, even though I never had any of my own. Not that I didn't want any, just didn't have my chance. Now, I don't even have a choice. I hate feeling like a burden, but I know Vera and I make things more difficult. Tijolo. Just like I know we wouldn't have survived without the group. Don't say that, Olga. None of us thinks you're a burden. Spasiba. Thank you. At least now we've got a roof over our heads. Maybe a little too cold and wet for a child, of course. But at least it's better than sleeping outside. How's Vera doing? I'm not sure. I don't think she's getting any better. And I don't know what to do. She had a tough time with the cold when we were out looking for shelter. This is bad. And I'm not sure what else we can do. Back in the day, we'd just call a doctor. Can't do that now, though. I just hope she doesn't get worse. The nightmares I've been having still have me rattled. In one dream, I sat up in bed, but Vera was missing. Not with me, not in the crib. I panicked, frantically looking for her everywhere. People just stared at me like I was crazy. Who's Vera, they kept asking. That sounds awful. Don't worry, we all know who Vera is. I should get going. Sure. I'm sure I'll find a use for these sooner or later. Here we go. Looks sturdy. Better make sure it's all properly secured. And now for the tape. Let's seal it all up nicely. All right, I patched the pipes, so let's try to equalize the water pressure. Holy, it 
worked. I, I kind of can't believe it. What's that buzzing? Emily, did you get it working? The boiler, I mean, it's fixed? I think so. We should try running the shower. Mother's first, of course. No objections from me. Wow, Emily. I'm very impressed. Well, how about that? Little Emily fixed the boiler all by herself. Just a basic leak, big deal. The baby could have fixed that. <laughs> Maybe even Matt. Stay focused, Brian. Let's wrap this up before we line up for the shower. Claire's gonna be in there for at least an hour anyway. Plenty of time to finish up.